everyone, this is the first video on probability and in this lesson we're going to be concentrating on the fundamentals of probability. So it's going to be the basic conceptual questions that we're going to be looking at. So make sure you understand each and every one of those for you to move on to the next video. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm going to start off with my regular pack of 52 cards because a lot of probability questions will relate to cards. So you must know very, very well on what the on, in a pack of cards, what they consist of. And you can see over here, I've got all these pictures um, of all the parts in the cards, and you have to know how many of each and what different colors there are as well. So you can see we have four aces, and we don't have the number one, so make sure you don't think that there's a one in the cards. It always starts from two up to 10, and it's always four of each card. Okay, so you can treat A being the number one, all right? And we have court cards. Court cards are jack, queen, and king. Okay, so we have four of each as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And when we're looking at probability, we don't consider any jokers. So don't think that there's any jokers in the cards. They're always neglecting jokers, so don't worry about jokers in any probability questions, okay? Unless they do specify, but it's really rare for them to specify for any jokers. So this is all you need to consider. And you should also know that there are black cards and red cards. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And if you count them up, you can see that there's 52 cards in total. So you must remember that number, 52. Okay, so let's get started. This is my um, picture card. These are the um, all the out possible outcomes in a, a particular pack of cards. And with these card questions, I do recommend for you to draw up this table at the beginning of the question and then just relate to these card, relate to this table whenever you answer a question because once you draw up this table, answering the question is really, really simple. It's just a matter, a matter of counting up some blocks. Okay, so I've got a spade, uh, sorry, <laughs> diamond, heart, clover and a spade here and you can see that, so there's four shapes in the card, pack of cards and I've got A up to 10, jerk, uh, sorry, jack, queen and king. And it says picture cards and you can see this part here colored in blue. This part, these three, are simply the picture cards. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so 12 in total. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Red cards are just these two. These two are red cards. Okay, so it's pretty much just half of the cards. Okay, half are red, half are black. So red cards are just exactly half. Black cards are these two. So again, similar to the red cards, half of the pack of cards. Half the cards are black. Now question one. A, find the probability that the card is jack. So, so you can see I've got the table here and I always want to refer to this table. If you get used to this and you think you can just answer the questions without doing the table, that's great. But for most of you, I do recommend you to draw this up because it really does help. So it says find the probability that the card is a jack I know that jack is these, these four, isn't it? So therefore, it's simply four out of the 52. And make sure you always simplify it one over 13. Okay, and that's it. So see how it's so easy after you draw this table? Now B, find the probability that the card is a 10. Now, these are the 10s, isn't it? So again, there's only four out of the 52 that makes 10. So the probability simplified is one over 13. Now C, we want to find the probability that the card is a jack or a 10. Now a jack or a 10 is going to be this and this. So how many in there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's simply 8 out of 52, which is simplified to 2 on 13. That's so simple, isn't it? Just counting up the numbers on the, uh, on the table. D, find the probability that the card is a jack and a 10. Okay, jack and a 10 is 0 because there's no particular block that has jack and a 10. Okay, so this is jack and this is a 10, but there's no card that is jack and a 10. We could have jack and a heart, for example, or a 10 and a heart, but we can't have a card that is both jack and 10, so that's why it's probably zero. There's no outcome. All right, so before I move on, guys, you must really 
be specific with these questions. You must ask, answer what they are asking. See how this one says and? The previous question said or. Or and and is a significant difference in probability. So you must understand what they're ask, asking you to find. Okay, so make sure you distinguish what or and and means before you answer the question. Okay, so this one's just zero. E, find the probability that, the, uh, that it is neither a jack nor a ten. Neither a jack nor a ten means we don't want it to be a jack or a ten. So it must be anything else, okay, except excluding these two um, outcomes. So it's 52 minus the 8, which is 44. So 44 out of 52 is the answer for this question. Just simplify it to 11 over 13, okay? So again, just counting up the blocks. F, okay, a black. Well, I told you before we started this question that black is exactly half, just this part here. So it's simply 26 out of the 52, which is exactly half. Okay, so that's the black. G, that it is a picture card. Now, a picture card is the court cards that I've mentioned, the jack, queen, and king. So these three are the picture cards, or sometimes you call it a court card. So it's simply 12 out of the 52, which is simplified to 3 on 13. Okay, so I hope you get the idea. It's very repetitive now. H, black picture card. A black, black we know that it's the bottom two rows. And if it's a picture card, it's out of these three. So it's simply this part here, okay, this part. So it's simply 6 out of 52, which is simplified to 3 on 26. Okay, so very, very simple. I, black or a picture card. So it could be a black or a picture. So we know that these are picture cards and these are blacks. So all of this is what we include here. Okay, it could be black or a picture card. So even if it's red, if it's a picture card, that's included. So if you count them up, you should get 32. So 32 out of the 52, just simplify to eight on 13. Okay, and that's it. Okay, finally, uh, neither black nor picture card. Okay, it cannot be a black or a picture card, so it must be anything else apart from the stuff that we had in the previous question, I. Okay, so it can't be black at all, and it can't be any of the picture cards, so it must be the remaining, this part here. Okay, the one part in blue. So if you count them up, you get 20, so it's 20 out of 52, which is simplified to 5 on 30. And that's it. So I hope you find this very repetitive and you can see that after I draw this table up, it's very, very simple. As I said, it's just a matter of counting them up. Okay, but the key thing I want you to be careful here is how to distinguish the or and the and in the question. Okay, so just be really, really careful when you're reading the question. That was question one.